Welcome back to Local Madness Live. Ladies, our next guest is local author with a book out called 10 Things Your Man Won't Tell You. Hmm. Yeah. Dr. Marshall Mabry is here to help us understand the language of the opposite sex and his new relationship book. Welcome. Good morning. Thanks Good for morning, coming. Guys. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So start off by telling us what are some of the things that men won't tell us? Oh, it's a lot of good stuff. Well, I'm going to tell you one of my, I guess, most controversial topics is that he won't tell you that he's a dog. Oh, yeah. What? Yes. Well, that's just like a job interview. People put their best foot forward, you know? Exactly. But you have to understand, dog can be used in a good way and a bad way. You know, a dog is man's best friend. And so it means that every man has the propensity to be very loyal to you until you do him wrong. Mm -hmm. So, but, you know, just little stuff like that can kind of sway him in either, either direction, so. What inspired you to write the book in the first place, I gotta ask? I am the oldest of seven, five boys and two girls. And for some reason, I attract a lot of female friends, and I have an ex-wife, his term, ex-wife. And so... What'd you do wrong? I, I did some things wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I did do some things wrong, but I said, you know what, I want to be able to help some men kind of figure out some things, to, I guess the pitfalls and the potholes, so they wanted to go through the same things I went sure. through. Name some other things for us that ten, ten tell things us, that men yeah, won't tell us. Um, well, he won't tell you that he's, he's a king. Uh, I, I feel like this. He's a what? He's a king. <laughs> he's a king oh, now. He's, gone. he's a king. <laughs> See, you guys have got okay, jokes okay. this morning. We'll, we'll, we'll be open. I, I he's look a at king. like this. Um, in a Western culture, say that, you know, um, a man's home is his castle, which means he has to be a king. Yes. Most men temp typically cheat because he's treated as a king on the outside, but he's a court jester on the inside. So one Ooh. minute he's a dog, and the next minute he's a king. Hey, listen, we, we, we kind of go back and forth I, with this I thing I definitely now. can see the relationship, though. Yeah. For sure. It, it tends to happen because in, if, as a king, we have to dominate and have govern something. But mm -hmm. if he's a court jester at home, you know, he's not taken seriously, he's okay. going to go out and find something where he can rule and govern over. So it's not okay. always great when the women wear the pants. No, it's not always great. I believe in equality, but sometimes he's kind of like, my grandmother said like this, my grandparents were married 55 years before my grandmother transitioned, and she said, your grandfather's the head of the house but I'm the neck that turns the head. Oh, that's a good saying. I like that. Yeah, I, 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 I like, like that it too. too. It makes him feel like he's in control. Why do you think exactly. there's such... <laughs> I like that. Why do you think there's such a disconnect mm. between 